Acadia National Park. It's on the coast of Maine near a little quintessential town called Bar Harbor. And to be honest, I'd never heard of it until about two weeks ago, but here's the bottom line. It is the only national park in the northeast part of the United States that has a 27 mile park loop that you can explore and enjoy. And you can also enjoy multiple beautiful hikes. It even has a beach that is really unique and we'll tell you more about that in the video, but you should go check out this beach. Here's what we recommend for a single day in Acadia National Park. Number one, go see the sunrise on the top of Cadillac Mountain. Don't worry, you can drive to the top. You don't have to hike up at four in the morning. Hike the Precipice Trail in Acadia. There's two different loops you can do. One is shorter than the other. It's a very popular hike and it has a little bit of climbing slash scrambling slash via Ferretta if you're into that thing, but it's not too serious. You'll, you'll be fine, you'll enjoy it. Hit the beach that I talked about earlier. It's very nice. Again, watch the rest of the video, you'll see the beach. If you're just like super fast at hiking and you have extra time, you should also check out the Beehive Trail. We did not do it on our trip, but everyone tells us it's as nice as Precipice, if not nicer. Some people actually prefer it to Precipice. So if you're just really gung-ho, you can knock that out as well. And last but not least, more than likely, you're staying in the town of Bar Harbor. That's probably where your lodging is. It is a super quintessential, unique, charming little New England town. So you should at least block out some time to explore that. Maybe just have dinner there. I don't know. It's really pretty. You'll like it. You can certainly fit all this into a single day if you really get up early and hustle. And I would say mix it up. You can do it in any order you want, except for the sunrise. For the sunrise, you have to get to the top of the mountain when the sun is rising to see it. funny because it's like at what point do people determine that the sun is completely up and it's now an appropriate time to clap yeah like yay it's already been above the horizon <laughs> okay we're at the precipice trail there are difficult trails moderate trails easy trails and summits we are going to go to the summit on this one we have via ferretto so we'll have these little like metal rings to climb on and there are some really fun ledges and some overviews that are spectacular from right here. We'll see. Overviews, outlooks. Overviews, outlooks and overviews. We have three sets of rings here. Put Gotta climb up, up. It's really technical. Oh, we should put our glasses on for safety. <laughs> Okay, here's my assessment on why they call this the precipice trail. I think it's because you are on the precipice of tumbling to a serious injury the whole time. It's basically a somewhat ladder boulder scram to the top. You can go over boulders, you can go under the boulders, you just cannot go through the boulders. If you do, it takes a much longer time and you need tools. So, we're gonna continue up the mountain. Yep. This trail's getting a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the blue paint go? <laughs> we're not sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not. trying to figure out where we're going. We're not sure if I. It's like the Mandalorian. Yeah. The Mandalorian. This is the way. <laughs> well, oh, guys, as usual on a hike, I am sweating. Don't fall back. I mean, that's the general plan. Eric? 
windy up here at the peak at the actual summit earlier we stopped took a break took my shirt off cooled down because we we're like we made it we're at the summit and then we started hiking back down which then proceeded to go up another iron ladder and this is the real summit the real peak so this is a really cool hike very chill not too aggressive as long as you know how to climb ladders and you have a little bit of balance you should be good 328 meters that's not very high at all uh, make sure you bring a banana wouldn't swim in it. This sandy beach is named Sand Beach, which is not a very original name, but it's a very surprising beach. I didn't expect such a nice little place here in this national park. That's not the vibe that I had of Acadia, but there's a lot of people here hanging out, sun tanning, playing in the water, which Maggie touched. It is ice cold. Um, bring some sunglasses. That's my recommendation. Or you can squint like me and just look like you're super suspicious of everything you see. Sand Beach is one of the few cold water sand beaches in the entire world. I also didn't know that, but I read it on a sign over there um, because typically you don't have that in the cold water areas, a shell, a shell based beach. But there's a rock formation out there called Old Soaker, and it's specifically placed, well, not intentionally, it's just how the geology formed, but it, 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 it channels the current in a way that it chews up um, seashells and makes this very geological rarity of a beach exist. So that's pretty neat. It's worth coming to check out one of the few sand beaches, cold water in the world. I already said that. It's on the sign, read the sign. So this is the ocean path. It's a partly paved, partly gravel path with multiple parking spots all along it. So you don't have to walk the whole thing. There's little cutouts where you go and see different amazing scenes. And yeah, it's pretty chill, very flat. We're gonna go to Otter Point or Otter Peaks or Otter something. What what is it? Otter. Oh. This is Otter Point. This area is Otter Point. You can walk here on the ocean path, but it is many, many miles. And it's basically beside the road in which people are in cars also going to Otter Point. So you might as well just drive your car if you want. It's up to you. Maybe you want some exercise. But when you get here, I regret to inform you there are no otters, or at least not in the 20 minutes that we've been here. Um, but you can find a nice rock like we found, and you can sit, you can watch the ocean hit the rocks. And it's pretty and it's powerful and it's nature, and it's good for you, and it's lovely colors, and it's very windy, it's a little windy. And um, so bring a jacket, even though it's sunny, bring a jacket. Um, that's, that's, that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that stuff that I tell you at the end of every video, as if you're not already subscribed. If you're a subscriber, definitely you are already subscribed. Um, eat some vegetables, drink some water. Okay, bye.